Here is the new chapter for Dead by Daylight. Witness the demise of the faithful. When surrounded by darkness and doubt, some look inward for a beacon of light to follow, hoping it will lead them to safety. But when that light is distorted by pride and ambition, how long will they wander around in the darkness of their own minds? Enter the Temple of Purgation, a long-forgotten temple complex dedicated to the cleansing of the High Priestess's followers. Stolen from the Priestess's memories, the temple is now planted in the middle of the Red Forest. The impressive construction, once believed to be supporting the entire weight of the heavens, is now being eroded into oblivion by the chill winds of the forest. The new killer is called the Plague. She was once a high priestess, devoted to the gods with an unwavering faith. Back in Babylon, hymns and amulets were created in her honor, praising her beauty and foresight. Sadly, she lived in a time of despair while a dark plague was gaining ground and rapidly spreading across Babylon. Her faith proved to be inconsequential against the disease, no matter the prayers or the rituals. To this day, she keeps trying to appease the gods with more blood and more sacrifices. The plague's power is Vile Purge. With her power, she releases a stream of vomit that infects her victims. Once infected, survivors will cough and retch. And if they do not take care of it, the sickness will take over. It's important to mention that these fluids are highly contagious. You could very easily catch it too. The plague comes with three new perks. Dark Devotion. You become obsessed with one survivor. Using your basic attack on the obsession causes them to emit a terror radius. During that time, your own terror radius is reduced to zero. The obsession will hear the terror radius they emit. Infectious Fright. Any survivors within the killer's terror radius, while another survivor is put into the dying state with a basic attack, will yell and reveal their location to the killer. Corrupt Intervention. The generators located furthest from you are blocked by the entity at the start of the trial for a limited duration. Survivors cannot repair these generators during that time. New survivor, Jane Romero. This influential talk show host was raised by her father, a struggling visual artist. Her genuine material and strong personality helped her gather a large, loyal audience. Her success also meant an increasingly demanding schedule and harsh critics' reviews. One evening, after a TV special on divorce, she drove to her father's house when she closed her eyes to rest and opened them moments later in the realm of the entity. Jane Romero comes with three new perks. Poised. Achieving goals boosts your confidence. After a generator is completed, you leave no scratch marks for a short duration. Head on. Performing a rushed action to exit a locker you are hiding in will stun a nearby killer for a short duration. Head on cannot be used while exhausted. Solidarity. Sharing painful experiences has the power to heal. While injured, healing a survivor also heals you. When surrounded by darkness, the faithful look inward for a beacon of light to follow. But when their light is distorted by pride and ambition, how long will they err in the dark? 
The Demise of the Faithful Chapter is available now everywhere.